Hey and welcome to this video, my name is Johannes and in this video I'm going to show you how to stake Luna and claim airdrops with Terra Station. And if you don't have Terra Station installed and set up, I have another tutorial on how to do all that. I also have another tutorial on how to send Luna tokens to the Terra Station, so I will leave links in the description to those tutorials and you can watch them first. Right now, I'm inside the Terra Station application on desktop. You can see uh, I'm already inside the staking. So make sure you, you get into the staking tab from the menu right here. And you can see staking. You can see I have some rewards right here. You can see available delegation, my delegated assets. And you can also see the validators that I've delegated my Luna to. So delegated basically means staked uh, Luna tokens. And the uh, validators is basically, you know, nodes that, that you stake your Luna to. And when you choose a validator, you can see some of them take a commission. You can see this one right here, staking fund takes 10% validator commission. And what I've been looking for at least is uh, a validator that doesn't take any commission or that takes very little commission. And you can see 10%, 5%, but some of them have 0%, in this case, orion.money. The thing is, the validators can actually change this. They can, you know, change the validator commission to 1%, 5% after you have staked it as well. So um, we can go into orion.money for an example. And you can see, and you can see the max commission rate right here, 10% and max daily commission change, 0.50%. So, you know, if orion.money uh, wanted to just change their commission, they could increase it by 0.50%. 50% every day and if you have staked Luna inside this uh, validator um, I'm not you know trying to talk about the specific validator I'm just trying to make a general point right here they can change it to 0.50% every day so basically after five days you will have uh, or let's say 10 days you will have 5% in commission rate on this validator so so basically they, they could increase to 10% uh, pretty quickly. And uh, that's up to you if you want to keep up to date with the validator commission and stuff like that. They might change it around. You know, I'm not trying to, to talk bad about Orion.money or say necessarily that they will do it. Uh, I'm just trying to make a more general point that validators can change the commission and take uh, a commission even though you have delegated Luna into it earlier. So uh, that is actually what has happened to, to me. You can see for an example stake.systems, I have 89 Luna tokens delegated into them. They had 0% validator commission when I delegated my Luna to it and now they take 1% and that's fine. You know. I, I don't care about that really. The reason why you have to be careful to just enter like all your Luna to one validator, completely up to you, but from my experience is that they can change it after you have delegated it. So that's why you probably want to, you know, spread out your Luna to uh, a variety of different validators. So they don't change it to, you know, 5% or 10% after you have delegated your Luna tokens to it. Because uh, if we try, let's take this one for an example. If you try to undelegate your Luna tokens, it will actually take 21 days to, uh, to uh, for undelegation. You can see undelegation takes 21 days to complete. You would not get rewards in the meantime. So uh, what that means is, at least for me, you know, I, I don't, want to undelegate for 21 days without rewards. You know, I want to stake my Luna and get rewards for it and 21 days, it's three weeks. You will, you might lose a lot of Luna rewards and percentage uh, yield from just undelegating your tokens. So 
I hope that makes sense. Um, if I could redo it, I would definitely spread out my Luna tokens more than keeping it inside basically two different validators, even though I have you know four, three Luna inside inside Terran one and Ryan dot money as well. So, uh, you know, you do you, uh, but that's my own thoughts about it. And to stake, uh, I can show you, I'm just taking one right here, Dokia Capital. To stake your Luna, you can just look for delegate. And obviously this requires you to have the Luna tokens inside your Terra station. So as I said, I have another tutorial on how to send Luna tokens to the Terra station, if you want to see that. So just click on delegate and you can see available amount. You can click on that if you want to spend maximum and you will see the amount and I will click next. And then you will just have to confirm it with your password. You will see it's a small fee. Let's see what it is in UST. So yeah, 0 0.04 approximately UST. So basically nothing. You just confirm with your password, you click delegate and that's all you have to do. You will see it inside staking later and you will be able to just withdraw all the rewards when you have earned it. And you can see your rewards here as well. So that's how you stake Luna inside the Terra station and also what you need to think about from my experience when you delegate your Luna tokens to a validator. And also to claim your airdrops, when you stake Luna inside the Terra station, you will receive airdrops from different applications that's built on the Terra ecosystem. You can see Right now, as I'm making this video, it's Mirror Protocol, it's Anchor Protocol and Pylon Protocol that has launched and have airdrops for uh, Luna stakers. So uh, terradrops.io is a pretty new site that I've found that where you can claim all your uh, pending airdrops, basically. You can see uh, I don't have any Mirror or Anchor airdrops available right now, but I have the Pylon. You can see for mine, which is the pylon token and uh, claim all not supported. So uh, what they will develop and have for, I think, I think uh, hopefully a majority of all these uh, projects and protocols that are launching and coming soon right here, you will be able to claim all airdrops right here with one button instead of going to each separate website and protocol and claiming them on the website because that's what you have to do uh, usually. Uh, I can show you an example of how you can claim on Pylon just to, just, to, just to show you how simple it will be with the Teradrops website to just claim all. So this is usually what you will have to do manually in order to claim airdrops. You can see airdrop for Luna stakers inside the Pylon protocol. <laughs> And I will have to claim it right here. But uh, as I said, with Teradrops, you can just click on claim all or just claim separately here as well instead of going to the website. Uh, obviously, do your own due diligence and make sure that, that they are legit. I, I, can't, I can't speak from my own experience right now. I don't have a lot of experience using this. This is, you know, the first time I'm visit visiting this and trying to to use it but my anchor airdrop was claimed successfully and uh, you know we can see I can claim my pylon airdrop here as well and see how that looks like you can see success done and as far as I understand it will be a lot cheaper as well if you claim all because it will be in one transaction I'm not completely sure about that but it's a small transaction fee for just claiming your airdrops usually. And this probably combines everything into one transaction. Uh, I'm not completely sure. Uh, we will see about that. But, but that's basically how you claim airdrops on Terra. And you can also see the list of um, projects that are uh, coming soon and that, that will have airdrops. So that's also cool. You will get a a list and this is very exciting and uh, hopefully you found value in this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency tutorials and reviews else thank you for watching have a nice day and goodbye